So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Normally I show various parts of the bike, putting it back together, fixing various components of it, which I suppose this is in a certain manner. However, this is going to be something that can relate to anybody that's worked on older motorcycles, and that's stripped and broken off bolts. Since both of these broke off flush with the holes when I removed the radiator during my initial disassembly. Now, I managed to drill this one out as well as this one and all was going well. However, the tap in this one broke off. I guess I either didn't get the hole drilled perfectly straight or something because, well, like I said, it broke off in there. I managed to get most of it out. However, I can't really get enough depth to get a tapered uh, starting tap in there and I'm losing diameter each hole size bigger I go so even if I want a heli coil or put in a nut cert which is um, just another name for a riv nut I would lose so much of the outside diameter here that there really wouldn't be much strength here now it doesn't need to be too strong, it just holds the radiator up, which is fairly light, and there are two other uh, mounts lower down that give it support. So it's really just to keep the radiator from falling forward. However, the bigger issue, this being a two-stroke, is the vibration it's going to see. And I really don't want this to crack. So what we're going to do is grind these nubs off, so they're more or less flush with the frame, and I'm going to weld on a pair of nuts. So that'll give me a nice set of new threads it should be more than strong enough to hold it. So, I have made up this little jig here. So what's going to happen is it threads into this one side that I managed to save. I'm going to put new threads on this side as well. However, it's good enough to hold a bolt at the moment. So you can see that it gives me a hole in the right spot, which allows me to put a nut in there and hold the new bolt sorry, nut on the back side in the correct spot to weld it in. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to measure the thickness of my new nut and I'm going to score the old shaft so that I know how much I need to grind off in order to have the correct spacing out from the frame when I weld the new nut on. As you can see here on the plate that I, the um, jig that I've made here, I have one side that I can adjust to pinch this tight against the other frame, and one side that I can adjust to hold the new nut in the right spot while I tack it into place. As you can see here, I now have the new nut located in the correct spot relative to the frame. The uh, plate here holds it in place relative to the other hole. So, after one round of grinding and a little bit of re-welding on a slightly hotter setting, I'm actually get some decent presentation. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but the uh, bolt that needs to go in it does and it's definitely not going anywhere so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut this one away weld the nut on and it should be good to go. So we've got it all ground and cut off. I've got the nut lined up with my little jig here. It's right where it should be. Um, so now I'm going to weld it on. And since you missed the last one I will 
if you're watching well, this one. Not quite sure how much you'll be able to see through the camera and all, but we'll give it a whirl. Good as new.